Okay, stand by side open in 10. In five, four, three, two, one, go side. We got a leak through now. Do not fit in there with having space. Lower zone. Get it to get it. We're getting them around. Active shooter in progress. Back off. There's no shooter. 20 seconds. There was at least 150 to 200 bikers. We're having everybody on the inside. Come on, son, with your hands up. These are officers that ran into the gunfire and they without a doubt did a hell of a Stand by two shot. Key is out, dissolve. We start tonight with the Keys very in. latest on that deadly biker shootout at Twin Peaks. Key is out, stand by Stinger to two box. shopping center in Waco. Doug Carroll joins us now from near the scene of the crime with Go the Stinger. latest John. John. Well, Gordon and Julie, we and are here in the Central box. Texas Marketplace uh, parking lot uh, just behind the and John is single. Twin Peaks uh, Keys restaurant. In. Of course, been closed all day. It's been an operating a crime scene, continually operated and worked by investigators, primarily from the Waco uh, Police Department, also being assisted by Texas Rangers and others here in the Central Texas area. Uh, we want to make sure that we tell you that this right now is being considered the deadliest gang killing one episode situation in the country. All we right. also can tell Stand you it's the, the deadliest one crime scene ever here in the history of Waco. And uh, a police a sergeant and public information officer and spokesman for Waco PD, Sergeant Patrick Swanton Patrick says, G. we are not only prepared for more, we are expecting more, maybe another confrontation, uh, maybe He's others. Solving the video. And he is ready, he says, Police officers yeah. all throughout the city are ready and prepared if anything occurs. All right, and go lower. I say right now there's no reports of other uh, biker gang uh, members moving into the city. They have not seen any. Of course, they have kept their eyes out for that. Um, let us tell you that of the nine that have been killed, eight have been confirmed from one gang and one from another. Eight were, were killed from one gang and one from another. Let us also tell you that Twin Peaks in Dallas, the headquarters, has pulled the franchise of the Twin Peaks All right, restaurant. He is out. We're going to go back to John. For the time being, on also, John. the Texas TABC also by two box. pulled the alcohol by liquor English. permit of this restaurant. So we can certainly tell you, standing here at this moment right now, Twin Peaks restaurant will not be opening anytime soon possibly if they ever open again at all. Uh, questions have also arisen about uh, the involvement of management of Twin Peaks over the last several days. In fact, uh, Waco police have told us numerous occasions over the last 24 hours that they were uncooperative with police and sheriff department when they were called out here on several occasions. Some people have even asked the question, will anybody even from Twin Peaks ever be charged? And that has not been answered at this time. Uh, so we can all also right, tell you, with John. from my vantage point behind the Probably camera, by we're simply looking at this part of the Central Texas marketplace. It's like a ghost town all the way from Cabela's uh, down Are they going to do Best questions? Light. Okay. Not, none Stand have been open. No, none of these businesses have opened their doors. Uh, there have been uh, no customers coming through this area. Police have cordoned it off. Only, uh, of course, law enforcement officers right, I'm go to the box. behind us. And in this area right oh. here, uh, the press is allowed here for this situation right now. So uh, it's still a very fluid situation. Uh, Patrick Swanton says that police investigators will continue working this scene all the way the into are hot. the evening, all the way into dark. Gordon and Julie? All right, John, uh, we've been hearing that there's been an alert put out from Waco PD. Uh, everyone in uniform is a potential target of the two main well, there gangs involved. Hot stand Can you tell us more about this? Uh, yes, Gordon. Actually, uh, right, late last full. night I received uh, a text and an Your email about this uh, this alert that was placed uh, or put John. out by Waco PD to all police departments in this area and all men and women in uniform that these two gangs that were primarily the ones involved in the shootout are simply saying take out anyone that you see in uniform. So, of course, very serious right, alert being key. put out. Uh, to all those who serve in uniform. Box is up. Very scary for the families of those first responders and, of course, the first responders themselves. John, uh, I was traveling down I-35 today uh, and noticed, obviously, that the exit there is completely closed off. They're kind of detouring traffic around. I also saw some barricades up near the convention center when I was uh, in the downtown area today. Any idea on when everything uh, road-wise is going to be open back up? So much full. 
Uh, well, Julie, first let me answer the question about the Waco Convention Center. Right. We can simply John tell you full. that uh, we did not show uh, and okay. reveal that last night. We just talked about they were taking people yeah. downtown. Yeah. We can now tell you that was the place where they took all the people who were detained. It is now no longer a holding place, so the Waco Convention Center is free of being a holding place for those who they detained. And so I would presume that those streets have been opened. Uh, no word exactly now on when this exit or this area will be open. Julie, I did myself drive up from San Antonio and had to actually divert from Temple uh, through Highway 36 up 317 right, through Moody and McGregor to come the back way because uh, traffic northbound was box just moving at a snail's pace. All right, John, doing a great job there. Thanks so much for bringing us the latest from the crime scene. Clear. You bet. Meanwhile, bonds have been All set right. at a million dollars. They're full. Stand by Stinger to Bethany. 170 suspects were arrested following those deadly shootings. Bethany Moore has been monitoring the situation all day at the McLennan County Jail. She joins us now live with more. Bethany. Go Stinger. She's up. Yeah, Julie and Gordon. All right, let's like you said, that. at the McLennan County Jail, where some of those 170 suspects are being he held at. And to kind of just give you an idea of just how big this whole case is, right here, these are the um, affidavits and arrest warrants. Right, more than 500 let's go. pages Both. worth. Uh, for all of these 170 suspects, they are all at this time being uh, charged with organizing and, and we do have BO. organized criminal activity. Now, we are, our cameras were there yesterday. All at right, the convention we go VO. Some of those people were brought in. You can see some of that footage now. And our cameras were also there whenever we, ha we saw that them, they were being brought from that convention center over to the jail and being booked in here. Now, as you said, that's right, a, uh, all of those suspects being held on one million dollar bond. And just to, again, give you an idea of just how big that is, according to um, officials, that is the okay. largest bond in a single day in the history of McLennan County. Of course, that equaling one hundred and seventy million dollars right, of a in. bond. So very, very interesting out here. Most of these affidavits were All right, gonna go uh, back signed to her. by J.P. Peterson. Um, he signed most of those. And again, she is full. a lot of paperwork for the county to have to kind of dig through um, at this time. So reporting live out here at the jail, Bethany Moore, KBTX News 10. They're up. All right, Bethany, if you're still with us, can you clarify one thing? We we know we still have to go through a lot of those names and try to figure out uh, where they're exactly yeah. from, but the, the majority Bethany. of them, from what we could tell from the onset, is most of them are from out of town. Is that what you're getting? She's up. Yes, that is what we are getting at this time. Most of them that we have gone through have either been from uh, the DFW area. We have some from Lubbock, some from West Texas area. So at this time, not a whole lot that are locally, but we do know there are at least a couple of those names that are on PSN. these warrants that are local. All right, very good. Bethany Moore, thanks. As right, police continue to Same process idea. the crime scene at Twin Peaks, witnesses are still processing what happened. We spoke to a couple that was visiting from out of town, and they say they just cannot believe that they literally walked right into a gunfight. Deborah up. and in. Ralph, who shot. asked that we not use their last name, had just finished lunch at Don Carlos. That is the restaurant that is directly next door to Twin Peaks. They paid the check, they walked outside, spoke to an officer who had just backed into a parking space, and then gunfire erupted between the masses just Same a few feet away. Rolling. Usually, a normal person would hear Ralph. something like that. How cute is they that were all converging? The they were all converging. Continue. The couple had to duck behind the nearest pickup truck in order to take safety. Listening to bullets fly by, when it was all over, the couple says they were lucky enough Some to buy Rusty. Away, as you can see, unharmed. Go Stinger. All right, let's take a minute and check the weather. We've got some very active conditions going on. Isolated but very strong thunderstorms yeah, have developed in the heat of this very humid day. A strong thunderstorm passing out of Erath toward the Glen Rose area and just barely clipping northern Bosque County. Another barely heavy rain cell is situated out here just north of US 84, north and east of the Gatesville area. That's not moving hardly at all or anything kind of building okay. to the east-southeast. Most recently, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for winds to 60 miles an hour possible in and around the Lamp Passes area, drenching rainfall, not much movement, a lot of light. Okay. And then we move over toward the eastern side of the viewing area, and look at these heavy pockets of flip. rain. Freestone, Limestone County, Mahia, getting drenched right now. Further south, heavy rain is developing over falls adjacent Robertson County, and out here just northeast by 12 miles of Centerville is the little community of Flow. 
three inches of rain in 30 minutes earlier from Nick, one of our viewers out there. So these have been some very drenching rains, a little bit down here across the Rockdale area of Milam County. Uh, these will likely continue. You can see them just develop and not move much over the past hour or so. And it looks like those will continue right on into All the right, early evening. Lightning, some small hail, possible. The stronger Singer storms graphics, could have winds again to 60. And it looks like we'll see storm ch chances just about every afternoon this week. More weather coming up. Go Stinger. Thank you, Rusty. Jury Go graphics. is underway for a Copper Cove man charged with sexually abusing his girlfriend's infant daughter. 21-year-old Jaquel O'Neill is also charged with injury to a child. His girlfriend, 18-year-old Diamond Pender, is also charged in the case after the investigation found that she might have known about right, we'll the, wipe the abuse, next. but failed to report it. Wiping. Jury selection also underway no in the trial of a daycare operator Same by OTS killing with Julie. her baby by overdosing her on Benadryl. Four-month-old Clara Felton died while in the care of Marion Frazier at the spoiled Can't rotten daycare left. that was in her home back in Waco in 2013. Frazier is charged with murder. A source close to the investigation has told News 10 that as many as 10 infants in her Next care also Kim. tested positive for Benadryl. All of the parents maintain that they did not give their children that medication. She's up. ISIS militants took Same control of a major Iraqi city over the weekend despite a U.S.-backed effort to keep the extremists out. Girl. The battle for the capital of Iraq's Anbar province was quickly Came to Gordon done, next. and it was deadly. In just a few days, ISIS militants killed 500 civilians and Iraqi soldiers as they seized control of Ramadi. This video from ISIS appears to show Iraqi soldiers retreating from the city despite 165 U.S.-led bombings over the past month to help Iraq's army keep control. Like Gordon. Key is out. officials say it won't take long to take Ramadi back. Gordon's up. An Amtrak train left Philadelphia for New York this morning for the first time in nearly a week. Go via. President Obama met briefly today He's with leaders and emergency officials in Philadelphia Same following last shot. week's deadly Amtrak train derailment, this next. which left eight people dead and injured more than 200 others. The president praised first responders' swift response in the tragedy, which killed eight people and injured more than 200 others. Philadelphia's emergency management director and Pennsylvania Senator Bob He's Casey out, Senator King, also too. attended today's brief meeting. Two shots up. Go Tony music. Tom, the owner of Twin Peaks in Waco, also owns a restaurant in Tiger Park Heights. Go VO. What they're doing there to keep customers safe. Man, Meanwhile, watching. shoppers trickled back to the Central Texas marketplace today. We'll see if they're concerned for their safety. Stand by. Fading and rolling. We're clear. 